Okay, so what we're doing today is learning how to make a backup and then a backup of a backup. It's the paranoid man's way of making sure all their data is nice and safe. The, um, the first thing we'll do is open up iTunes, have your device connected, and what we should be seeing at the very top here is the automated syncing process. So there it goes. It's the top of the screen, automatically backing up. Those ones don't really rely on them, they, they tend to be overridden. So what we're going to be doing is a manual backup instead. Just wait for that process to finish. There we go. So right click on your device name and select backup from the list. And what that will do is make a manual backup that will not be overridden. Now. If you have iCloud backups turned on, those automatic ones don't go through. But even with it turned on, you can still make a manual backup. What we want to do next is find where that backup was saved on the computer. And make a backup of a backup. So in this case, it would be in a C drive. And then users and whatever your username is called for the computer. And what we're going to be looking for is an app data folder. Now, as you can see, it's not there right now. And that will be pretty much the case for a lot of computers. What we need to do is turn on hidden files and folders. And I'll show you how to do that. So organize top left hand corner and then the folder options and then the view and scroll down to show all hidden files and folders. And just go apply and OK. And you'll see that folder that I was talking about earlier appear. So app data and then roaming, then Apple computer, and mobile sync. And there's our backup folder. Now, as you can see, it's got a bunch of gibberish in there that doesn't really make sense to anyone. Um, that's fine. As long as we can copy that folder, really. So right click on the backup, go copy, minimize stuff to just get it out of the way. Uh, right click anywhere on the desktop, any blank space, and go paste. And what that will do is make a backup of your backup. So if anything goes wrong, if the backup goes over, gets overridden or corrupted or whatnot, you'll at least have a second copy there 